great food is all about location, and New Orleans hit the jackpot. It's sitting pretty on the mouth of the Mississippi River with a bay full of fresh seafood. It only makes sense for me to give you a dish inspired by one of the city's great catches, shrimp. And not a gumbo or an etouffee. How about a shrimp pot pie with simple puff pastry bowls, baked till buttery, golden, and flaky, then filled with a creamy white wine sauce made with, you guessed it, white wine, heavy cream, veggies, and thyme. We'll drop in some Cajun-inspired shrimp to top it off, and even better, these are individual shrimp pot pies, so everyone gets their own. Let's get it started with the shrimp pot pie that we're gonna put in those bowls that you can eat. What's better than a bowl you can eat? And you know what, I'm not lying, I really did move to New Orleans after having one amazing meal. I visited there when I was in the Air Force, doing a little story on some boxing, some guys in the military, and went out for dinner, and I said, oh my gosh, I gotta figure out a way to get back to the city. First stop as soon as I got out of the military, man. All right, so this is this egg wash, a little bit of water. We're gonna brush the top of our pastry puff bowls. It's gonna make it nice and golden brown when we cook them. So that's ready. Now I'm gonna start building the bowls. All right, a little bit of flour out here on my surface. And I'm gonna do this with um, puff pastry. Puff pastry, so easy, freezer section, and it's always in my freezer for a quick meal any night of the week. Just drop something on top of it, put in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's ready to go. So I'm just gonna dock this. And the reason I'm doing this with the fork is it's gonna put some air pockets in there. So when I put this in the oven and things start to rise, cause that's what puff pastry is all about, the bottom's not gonna rise. We want that to stay in the bottom to hold everything that's gonna fill up the pot pie. All right, so that's ready to go. Docked it completely. I've got a four inch ring and with one sheet, put a little weight on it. Don't turn it too much cause you don't wanna mess with the rising action. All right, it's not gonna rise too much, but it is gonna puff a little. We've got four bases we're gonna make out of one sheet. All right, and then I'm gonna show you how to put the rest of it together. This is really cute. I kinda just came up with this after going to a couple of places and getting edible bowls. I said, I gotta work this into my kitchen. So I'm gonna put the bases on a cookie sheet. It's non-stick, but don't worry about it because puff pastry is all about butter. Got its own little lubrication going on. Put this to the side, and then we're gonna build the sides of the bowl. All right, so you need three more sheets, and in between each layer, we're gonna just brush it, right, with a little bit of egg wash. That's gonna help it stick. All right, so a little bit of egg wash here. Remember, just a little egg and water. Also helps with the golden thing. Pull this out. A little tip, if you're in a hurry and you're trying to thaw out your puff pastry, thaw it out on a metal surface. It's a lot faster than just putting it on the countertop. All right, so that's that second layer. A Little bit of egg wash on that to hold it together. We're almost done. Let me tell you, I always preach the whole thing of a little bit of effort in the beginning. It's gonna pay off tenfold in the end. All right, so that's beautiful. We've got three layers, egg wash in between. We're gonna start with the four inch ring, all right? Gonna pull that out and then go in the center with the three inch ring. And what we're gonna have left over is the sides and the top for one. So pull that off. We're gonna egg wash the bottom. This is the base. All right, just place it right on top. Give a little brush right there. That's gonna rise really nice in the oven. And then this is the lid. There we go. I've got this one done. I'm gonna work on the other three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in the oven. It's gonna be so amazing. in the oven, about 400 degrees for 20 minutes. That's what I'm telling you about puff pastry, man. It's a quick, quick meal. All right, so now while those rise, we're gonna build the filling for our lovely shrimp pot pie. Let me open this up and get the shrimp on in a second. Turn the heat up. This is so simple, one pan assembly. All right, so we've got the olive oil, a little bit of butter. Oh, I love shrimp as an adult. Let me tell you, growing up, when my parents wanted to go to a seafood restaurant, it was all about me getting the burger that was on the menu. Then I moved to New Orleans and been shrimp since then. 
Really, I just love all the great ways they work shrimp into the menu in New Orleans. Okay, don't wanna go too high with that butter. Get it burnt. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put these, I open that up already, we're gonna drop these right into the pan. This is so simple. I'm not even gonna season them anywhere else but the pan, so drop them in. All right, a little bit of cayenne pepper. That's what's gonna make it feel like it's Cajun style. Got the puff pastry in the oven rising to perfection and waiting on all of our veggies and the nice cream filling that we're gonna add the shrimp to in the end. It's gonna taste so great. So this is the same pan we did the shrimp in. Oil, butter, it's perfect because you're not gonna have to clean up a lot. Put that in there. I'm gonna add some fresh thyme. I like to add this early in the process because this is such a quick dish so all the flavors can distribute. All right, couple of sprigs in there. Work it around. Just working out the mushroom, celery, and carrots right there. Oh, the puff pastry is looking like it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna pull this out. Puff pastry bowls ready to eat with our shrimp pot pie. So easy to make. Puff pastry, you cut some circles out, put it in the oven 20 minutes later, you've got the best cradle for the best shrimp pot pie. It's gonna taste so good. All right, so we're gonna hook up some white wine in this white wine sauce, of course. You know, not to cook with white wine that you'd never drink. Just add a little bit because we're gonna reduce it down and what's gonna be left is just the lovely flavors of the wine. So good and fruity. All right, so I'm gonna work this out real quick. In there pretty good. All right, we added the wine. We don't see it anymore, but let me tell you, you're gonna taste the flavors of it. So amazing. Add a little bit of heavy cream. Oh, come on, this is gonna be an amazing base for your shrimp pot pie. Let me get that sprig of thyme right there. Just pull it right out. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. We're gonna add the shrimp. Remember, didn't completely cook them earlier because they're gonna continue to cook a little bit here in our filling, nice and creamy. Gonna work that in. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of white pepper. I play by the rules, white sauce, white pepper. All right, so where do I start eating? How about a pot pie first? Now remember, these are edible bowls, puff pastry, very simple to put together, about 20 minutes in the oven. We've got our shrimp pot pie filling bubbling over here. The cayenne pepper on the shrimp, the cream. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Don't be greedy, leave some shrimp for everybody else. All right, let me give this a taste. You know what, I want a spoon for this. So creamy. 